Hey everybody, this is Smoky Mountain Dave. It is uh, Friday and we're gonna go try to fish the Kephart Prong Creek. Uh, it's about a two mile walk into where the creek is. Uh, this is a different creek, so we're gonna cross this one. Uh, but as you can see, the creek is running pretty, the water's running pretty strong today. It rained a lot last night. So this is gonna be some pretty tough fishing. But once we get over to the Kephart Prong Creek, the uh, water should be a little bit less uh, volatile and it's a little more rocks and there's a little more places to fish. So as we get over there, we'll uh, get back on camera. Looks like just, this just happened recently. A tree fall got wedged in between those two trees and fell right there. But as you can see from the color of the trunk, probably a pretty recent break. Might even have been last night as a result of the rain. Okay, I wanted to point a couple things out on the walk back to the creek. This is an old bulletin board from an old CCC camp that used to be here in the 40s. Um, the purpose of the camp was that it took care of a fish hatchery. And uh, when they planted rainbow trout back in the 40s, this was the hatchery where they actually did that. And there's remnants all over. As you can see, there's an old fence line and there's some old buildings back there. And I'll try to point some things out as we go forward, but like I said, this is a old fish hatchery from the 1940s that they used to use to stock the Smoky Mountains and all the streams. Here's some more remnants of that old CC camp. As you can tell, that's a pretty old chimney from a long, long time ago. The building is obviously gone, but uh, a lot of recent tree falls here. Somebody has been doing some trail work here, but as you can see, a lot of tree falls in the last couple days. Okay, here's the bridge that crosses the river, so for the creek, we'll get to the other side of the creek, and as you can tell, it is really flowing today. I don't know how fishing is going to be, but there may be some pockets where I can uh, catch a couple. This creek is primarily known for catching rainbow trout with the occasional brown. It gets a B-plus rating from Jim Casada, who's a Smoky Mountain Park fisherman extraordinaire. So he says, uh, very rarely would you ever see anyone else out here fishing. So as of now, haven't seen a soul. Well, this might've been a fool's errand. The water's running much higher than I thought it was. Um, although a couple hours can make a hell of a difference here. So possibly later today, it may be a little better, but it's just fishing really, really fast today. And like I said, I'm up here on the Kephart Prong Creek. And as you can see, there's some old railroad ties, not ties, railroad tracks that they used to have in here, I guess when they were doing lumber and stuff like that. But still a lot of remnants from the old days here on the Kephart Prong Trail. Well, I guess I underestimated how much it rained last night because the, uh, the creek was flowing so fast that it was impossible to fish. So. Uh, if nothing else, it was a good walk in the woods, and I guess I'm practicing my social distancing. So we'll talk to you next time. This is 441, about seven or eight miles north of Cherokee, North Carolina. And if you take this road to the right, it heads up to Newfound Gap. So I'm gonna take a ride up there and see if there's any crew hikers hanging out.